Your body is a wonderland, a weird, miraculous, evolutionary wonderland. Did you know that humans are the only animals capable of blushing? Evolutionarily speaking, it elicited sympathy, which showed other animals that we meant no harm. Besides blushing, our bodies have lots of other remnants of our evolution. Hiccups may be a leftover from back when we were an aquatic species. During the hiccup, the muscles we use to inhale contract while the vocal cords are slammed shut at the same time. There's no discernible purpose for hiccups in humans, but a similar pattern of movement among amphibians is useful. When tadpoles are breathing underwater during a stage at which they have both lungs and gills, they take in a mouthful of water, close the opening to the lungs, and then force the water out through their gills. In both humans and amphibians, the signal initiating hiccup-like activity comes from the brainstem. So scientists suggest our hiccups might be a leftover from fishy ancestors. Have you ever noticed that little fold of tissue in the corner of your eye? It's called the plica semilunaris. It's what we have left of what was once our third eyelid. It's called the nictitating membrane, and some animals like reptiles, birds, and sharks still have them. It's translucent and slides in from the side, either partially or all of the way over the eye. All that's left of it now in humans is that tiny fold in the corner of our eyes, along with some small muscles that tell us what it once was. Goosebumps are also a remnant of our evolutionary predecessors. They occur when tiny muscles around the base of each hair get tense, pulling the hair more erect. With a decent covering of fur, this would fluff up the coat, getting more air into it, making it a better insulator. Similarly, we get the bristling feeling of our hair standing on end when we are scared or experience an emotive memory. Many mammals fluff up their fur when threatened to look bigger and therefore more dangerous. Humans also used to have this defense mechanism of fluffing up their body hairs to look bigger. But as evolution has taken our hair away, we have lost this ability. We still feel the sensation of our hairs standing on end, but we no longer gain any visual bulk. It might seem hard to believe, but we have about the same number of hairs on our bodies as a chimpanzee. It's just our hairs are so fine they become almost invisible. We aren't sure quite why we've lost our protective fur. It's been suggested that it may have been to help early humans sweat more easily or to make life harder for parasites such as lice and ticks. But perhaps the most attractive idea is that early humans needed to cooperate more when they moved out of the trees into the savanna. When animals are bred for cooperation, as we once did with wolves to produce dogs, they become more like their infants. In a fascinating 40-year experiment, starting in the 1950s, Russian foxes were bred for docility. Over the period of 40 years, adult foxes became more and more like large cubs, spending more time playing and developing droopy ears, floppy tails, and patterned coats. Humans similarly have some of the same characteristics of infantile apes large heads, small mouths, and significantly finer body hair. Do you know of any more evolutionary leftovers found on our bodies? If so, let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, follow us on Facebook and like and subscribe our YouTube. And come back soon for more Factables.